What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another POV. I am on the back road of South Carolina. One of my favorite, favorite back roads. Um, I decided to actually just to do a video. So uh, somebody was wondering, uh, will I do the supercharger on this bad boy? Yes, it's still uh, the plan. Um, I had, if you're looking at this, I mentioned you in a comment. And I was like, I just gotta dial my Tahoe in and probably get my Porsche back on the road or stuff. And uh, I'll probably like, probably take this uh, back apart or probably get a new vehicle sometime and just take the Mercedes apart. Like, I feel like it would be a good, 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 good uh, template for other people uh, to follow, especially if they don't have the videos out there, which is very rare. But I have been looking at forms. I have been looking at a Kelman uh, guide on how they like do they supercharges and stuff. Like it go like step for step. So you just have to follow that book and then have to imp implement like other uh, things and stuff, which could be, I feel like a headache and all that. But I wouldn't say rocket science either. Um, to do the supercharger i mean we're gonna have to get a supercharger um i forgot what type i need but i know you got to get a supercharger first uh you can get it off of firebird if i'm not mistaken i can get one off of firebird or find one as uh uh off of ebay that came off of firebird or whatever and the firebirds are the the two-door coupes uh, basically, the first supercharged is Chrysler, honestly, um, to be honest. Um, out of the whole Mopar brand. So I need one of those. Uh, gonna have to make some f modifications. Removing the pump up front, the air intake pump, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what pump, but... Yeah, pump. You have to cut that bracket. Have to remove all that. Uh, have to add an intercooler, I believe, which is not rocket science. And then we have to plumb a um, hoses and like the uh, motor um, that you know help moves the water. Electronic uh, water pump. Let's just say that um, to help you know cool the supercharger and all that. Different belt assembly um the tune i feel like it's gonna be the hardest part trying to find somebody to tune it or you know i don't well it might not be hard i probably could find somebody out of florida or something but i have to, I have to just continue to make it connects and stuff or some type of way or figure out who do tunes And then I wonder if I have to do any modification to the fuel pump. Probably so. Um, I think that's pretty much it. The thing is easy. The process is easy. I've been studying it. I just got to retouch up on it. But I want to make a video and stuff. Uh, the car is doing actually amazing and stuff. I'm not even complaining. We replaced nearly everything on the front end going from water pump alternator new belt tensioner like we got everything new on this motor we even got fresh oil um man this car is like just so reliable only thing we have to figure out is abs light b a s light esp light which is probably something simple it might be something i need to change um but i do need to take this car to the dealer as you can see my coolant temp uh, does not read. I broke it when I had to change something on this car. I broke it on accident. Oh yeah, when I changed the water pump, I broke the sensor on accident. And anytime you break any sensors or anything on here, um, just know you're gonna have to replace that sensor and get the code reset it because these cars right here are so sensitive, so freaking sensitive. Um, but overall car is driving good and stuff i got cruise control and stuff with the lights off but with the lights on i don't have cruise control so i gotta figure that out too um but 
car driver mates and stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy. As you can see, I am now coming into Georgia. Get her up. Uh, 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 uh. Like one or two ish, probably one. But that's why I wanted to uh, indicate or well, update everybody on because I know that one video that I, you know, did, I mean, got a whole bunch of views and stuff on there. And I guess people really interested because I'm interested actually doing this. I seen a manual uh, swap done. Uh, off the E55, which I probably can manual swap this. That'd be crazy. A manual swap and a supercharger on here, that would be so sick and crazy. But I'm going to retouch. I'm going to retouch on about this supercharger thing. I have not forgot about the supercharger kit. I have not forgot about it. Um, you know, life and then you caught up with other things and stuff could get in the way and stuff. But I really want to do this project and stuff. And hopefully nobody don't do it before me. But if they do, they do. But it seems like I'm talking about it. The only thing I seen is just the forms. And these like years ago, I seen somebody did it. It's possibly somebody already did it, but they just not, you know, have it recorded or it's not discovered on the tube and stuff because you can find, shoot, videos. They just be either uh titled wrong like i had a video that was uh titled wrong not titled wrong but the person what they was looking for it seemed like they kind of had to scramble for it and they ended up finding it um but if i had my title just simple putting a tow hitch on mercedes boom they would have found it compared to you know the other type of title i might have or the, if that make any sense i might i think i'm just talking but i feel like i do need to rebrand and stuff like i feel like i want to bring quality videos i really do want to bring quality videos i want to make my bills more quality and all that and i want to be more consistent in 10 miles turn i really like i said i want really really want to be consistent with this uh stuff Especially in 2024, uh, man, a lot finna happen in 2024. I'm be, like I said, moving. So I gotta see how that play. Um, I wanna do different type of style of videos, but I still wanna, you know, work on my cars and stuff. But I wanna bring something that's valuable, interesting uh, to folks. Um, but the only way I would keep going, I would still keep going regardless, but the only way I would keep going if y'all keep, you know, comment, share, like the video and all. Anyway, let me shut up and just give y'all a POV. We in third right now. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. My key, my key is stuck. That's why I got to take it to the dealership to see why it's stuck. People say I need to wiggle my shifter, which I did that. Or somebody said I need to disconnect my battery or something, plug it up, and then uh, hit uh, use a narco booster, I guess, to help. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we will try every method. That could probably be for our next video. With that supercharger, oh my gosh, especially with the V6, that would be crazy. Now, I was wondering about the damn 
engine though, but I guess you can't run like so much PSI that you'll blow it. I wonder how much PSI I have to run, about like nine, eight maybe. Cause people say these engines are weak, especially the V6 ones, but I don't know. You, you you may never know till you actually put them to the test, you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't go over crazy with the boost and stuff. I'm surprised, you know, fingers crossed, I never had like no catastrophic engine issues. Like, I'm so thankful I never did, especially with the Tahoe, this car, and especially with the Porsche. With the Porsche, man, doing them belts and all that, you want everything right and precise. You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing off, especially doing them belts and stuff. And I'm surprised, you know, the thing lasted, honestly. My engine turned over smooth and stuff. We just got to get that thing started. But I'm painting it right now, so yeah. Right, guys i ain't gonna bore y'all with that talk i hope this answered your question if you uh seeing this this is just a small pov if y'all want to see more povs like this y'all let me know um maybe i need to drive to some like crazy places and do a pov that's what i might have to do a mercedes taking on the mountains or something like that i probably need to drive up to like north carolina or virginia Tennessee, drive up in the mountains and stuff with this car um, and just see how she doing all that. I mean, she just a cruiser and all that, but just to get that scenery instead of this basic scenery, maybe I need to ride through a city or something, you know. I need to do something, you know, change up something. But guys, that's gonna be it. I hope y'all have a happy new year. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, if y'all got any inputs down below, let me know. And if y'all really want to see the Mercedes Supercharged, man, hit that subscribe, like, share, please share. And then, you know, most definitely comment, you know, say I'm on board. That's all you got to say. Um, I had a lot of people before mention it. So, I mean, maybe I could try it. And if I could have the support and stuff, that'd be fine. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all. Be safe.